Well, so. when it comes to climate change, one basic point, uh, well, a couple basic points. First, climate change is real. Second, it's really dangerous. Third, it is accelerating. Uh, it's worse than the scientists thought it would be at this point because uh, in the last few years, the rate of the Earth's warming has dramatically increased and the scientists are trying to figure out what's going on, but we're reaching very dangerous levels on the planet. That's why all the forest fires, the Category 5 hurricanes, many, many terrible things are happening around the world. So that's all true. Then comes uh, President Trump's claim that the Paris Agreement is against the United States. The Paris Agreement doesn't mention the United States, <laughs> so it's not against the United States. It's an agreement of 196 countries. All the rest that we should be sitting down with Russia, with the Saudis, with Canada, with China, with India, with other big emitting countries and saying, all of us, we got a problem. What do we do? That's what we should be doing, not walking out the door. And not saying, you know what, we're just going to live with it, climate changes. This is actually um, doesn't pass muster if you take uh, even just uh, a little bit of a careful look at this. What the United States is doing inadvertently, I'm, I'm sure that Trump doesn't appreciate this, but the United States is giving the technological lead over to China. It's handing it over saying, we're, we're not going to get into things like electric vehicles. We're not going to get into solar and so that's, we're going to drill baby drill. So you have the lead of the future economy of the 21st century, which China said, okay, we will produce most of the electric vehicles in the world. Thank you very much. We will produce uh, fourth generation nuclear, the modular nuclear. We will produce wind, solar, hydro. We'll have uh, smart digital grids. That's all the things China's doing right now. Let's talk a little bit on the domestic front. Uh, in your 2018 book, uh, A New American Foreign Policy Beyond American Exceptionalism, you wrote that Trump's America First agenda was really about putting white America first.